if it was a wrestling night, Monday Night Raw or like Thursday Night Smackdown or something, the living room would be the ring. Boom, the boom, the rock sis. Dun, 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 dun. The rock says, know your role and shut your mouth. And I would go to each corner of the room and like show my belt off and then immediately just start talking sh You jabroni, where you from? It doesn't matter where you from. Jackie would even like say some sassy, like cool sh like, give me a drink. That's all I need and I got this or she would catch me mid-sentence, give me like a crazy smack or something, like textbook. Jackie was like my best friend, like literally like my big sister. She definitely had like an aura of independence or like maturity. If she wanted to like get the glitter pen and do the gimp. I wanted to get the glitter pen and do the gimp. We would put on the B2K album and we would like figure out the song and like choreograph the dance moves. She'll like give me like the Debbie Allen instructions with it. Like iron fist, like mother get it. Like I'm not playing like five, six, seven, eight. We would also like ride bikes everywhere. Not even everywhere, cause like I wasn't allowed to go that far. But like, we would go from the top of the street to the bottom of the street 90 times that day. That was like my right hand, homie. Like we would hang out like crazy. It had to be my ninth birthday. It's not even the excitement of that morning, it's the excitement of that week when you nine. Your cousin's here, y'all have already been doing God knows what the last few days. Taekwondo, Billy Blake's videos, eating hella junk food, partying, having a good time. And then the morning comes and we were getting ready to go to Jeepers. And Jeepers is like a Chuck E. Cheese, but like a local Chuck E. Cheese. And I was putting lotion on when the phone call came through. My mom like cried over whatever was said on the phone. Jackie can't come. We know exactly what's going on with her neck. It's cancerous. Jackie left. Yeah, I remember being like, dang, like I ain't got nobody to kick it with. She started losing weight and Her hair. And that's when I knew, like, it was something. When she was going through that, our relationship didn't change at all. She was still be like, I'll kick your ass, like, straight up. And you, you cry a little bit. Say, all right, what's for dinner? That's crazy. After it got really bad, they put her in hospice care. So like when you would walk in my house, you would look immediately to the right and you would see a hospital bed. There were like different IVs and drips and like monitors. Strangers that I'd never known would come by and visit her. That little bed section of my house was a hospital. It was November 11th. I was 11 years old and she was biting her tongue. And she started apologizing to people. But it was really incoherent. But she was like, I'm sorry about. Da -da 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 -da. Her mother was like, Stop. She said, Let go, Jackie. I kissed her hand. And that was the first time I ever seen death. From birth until I was 11, I was my best friend. Your best friend.
Hey guys, this is Lindsay. I'm the creator of Throwback Thursday. Thank you so much for watching this series. And if you want to support this and all the work that uh, the Washington Post does in terms of storytelling, subscribe.